missed, I missed him. Oh. He hit it too. I saw it, dude. He's huge. Oh, I didn't miss him. He snapped your line. Snapped my line. Get my snacky lure back. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? And welcome back today for another crappie fishing episode. We're in the new boat. Still trying to figure out the uh, live well here. I can't get it to fill up all the way. And I can't get it to research. So, if y'all aren't ranger owners, let me know how to do this because I can't figure it out. Just for some reason, it just wants to fill. And if I put it, if I move this, it wants to pump it out the back. It ain't supposed to do that, it's supposed to recirc. And I can't get this to. For some reason, it's stuck on empty. figure it out but anyways we're out here catching fish they're roaming everywhere everywhere out through here see a bum knee up here man and i don't know what he's doing what are you doing i'm uh can i video you yeah i'm about to go try to find them 20 foot out right there all right look at that whole lot of fish right there it's crazy there's literally fish everywhere. We're gonna sit back and video some. I'll strap y'all up on my chest and uh, see what all we can get here. So you guys stay tuned. You let him go. Uh, catch him, really. I might have got that on film. I don't he was know. like six foot deep, four foot deep. Huh. At 41 degree water temperature. Oh, there's one right there. Bring it closer to the boat. To turn it sl slowly to the right or the left, one of the two. He's he's not there, so he's either right or left. He gone. <clears throat> when you lose him in the screen, you got to keep him in the screen. There he is. On the other side of the troll motor. Turn it left. Pull it in. He's still floating away. There's one down low. Down there. Yep. Turn. You gotta keep him bright. So the trick is, there he goes. Boom! He hit it. Oh, he did hit it. I didn't even see that one. I was looking at a different one. That's a good one. Boom shakalaka. On the snacky lure. Boom, right That's there. Nice, I mean, ever since we started putting these on, they, the big ones just started hitting. Dynamite. We got to be getting pretty close to two-man limit. Oh, Bo's already set up on another one. Turn the trolling motor. Oh, oh, here it comes. Boom. Not yet. Oh. You never hit it. Huh. There's another one. Is that bright one? That's on a the, big one. Yeah. Get me on it. I don't want to screw it up. That's the one I've been chasing. I'm at an advantage over you because I've got a 13-foot rod. And about four years' experience on live scope. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Oh, got two I'm going to fight over. It. The bigger one's after it. Good. Got him. Got him. All right, leave it up there. Have to count these out here in a minute. Look at those two on that log over there. I don't know if that was even a keeper. Just wanted to catch one. Oh, you're right there on him. Here he 
comes. Here he comes. <coughs> you miss him? Oh, there's a bunch. Mm. We'll get him if you want. It's closer to the boat, though. It's gonna be closer to the boat. Keep dropping. Right there. Now go out to him. Move to him. There you go. To the right a little. To the right a little. Drop down. That one ain't very big. He's got your lure though. He's got your lure. Catch him. Your line was going sideways. <laughs> I thought I was, that's what I thought I was looking at, but I wasn't sure. That's a good one. Oh man. Uh, oh, I got tennis elbow. Oh my. And I almost couldn't set the hook. Oh. <clears throat> and I have tennis elbow from doing this. This is why that's why I have it. Well, I'd so too. <laughs> Been lifting too many giant crappies. Dang it, I put really not too far. And that's a good white crappie right there. Boom. After these two. I'm trying to keep him in my right hand so I can <laughs> don't hurt my elbow. Snacky lures, that's what it's all about right there. Dang it, he ate it too. He ate the snacky lure. Tie the old snacky lure back on. Probably a good thing I tie, came off. I didn't know I was fishing with a leader. Get him? By myself. Heck yeah, buddy. It didn't go. Good eating uh, size, not a giant. But. I got you on that camera at least. <clears throat> and some on this. It took some getting used to for sure. Yeah, you just gotta keep them bright in the in the uh, screen. Oh, there's two right below us. There's a big one in front of us. Catch a 11 inch crappie right here, and you think you need to measure it. I'm not sure I got on it. Oh, got him. I never felt it. Uh, I don't know about what size this one is. I'm pretty sure it's 10, but how many do you think we got? So the new boat is panning out. I 
Oh, it's to the right, man. Yeah, he went away from me. <clears throat> nice to the left. I mean, not much. Just keep him bright. Now drop. He's right there. Turn it to the right. Just tie it slow. So reach out. He's out. Bring it up. Bump the gas. There. Now turn it right or left so I can see how bright he is. Too much. You're going too far. Ah, oh, it's on the gas. Oh, I think he's coming. No. Nope. I think he is. Yeah, he is. Oh, got him. Yeah, yeah. Another Look at this. Eyes. Free live scope lessons. <clears throat> My first guided trip. That's all right. And he turned. There's one up. Right there. A little. Oh. Yeah, that one. Boom. These are just good eating size here. These are perfect. There's a big one down there. Always is. I have to act Two. Playing in the wind. I want that second one. The second one looks bigger. We're going to keep that one to the back. Throw it back. I mean, it have been a good eating size. Should have threw some of the bigger ones back, really. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. Get it. Get it. Here he comes. Oh, one coming down on it. Hard. Look at him. That's the one you just threw back. Oh, it is, isn't it? Figure out where he's at. He's over here. Got him. Uh. Oh, watch your face. Oh. <laughs> All right. There's one limit. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Six. He's turning towards it. I think he's turning upright. Yep, here he comes. Oh, real, real, real. Oh, Yo, that's a good one. Good Woo! Man, I cannot <clears throat> wait to get a live fish on my boat. Free lessons right oh, here. Oh, hold up. Oh. Bo's getting. <laughs> this one ain't wanting any part of it. I'm not sure. That might be a bass.
He did want it. <laughs> Told you he made it personal. You should have ate it the first time. Boom. Snacky lures. You don't want to know the most impressive part? I've been using this same bait. I've been using this same bait for every fish and it still looks like brand new out of the package. All right, so that's what, 28 or 27, what'd I say? 26 and then you caught one, so that was 27. <clears throat> and that, I just caught one, so that's 28. So we catch two more. I don't want that fish. He's swimming away from here, we're blowing one of the two. Wind's picked up, makes it tough to stay on him, don't it? Uh, it is when I wasn't really on him to begin with. Oh, why? There's a good one. Yeah. Wasn't that one? This the top one. one. Yeah. Is that the one you're on? I don't know. Though. Drop it right there. I got mine. You gonna get yours? Come on, I'm trying to get a double here. Oh, we got a double! <laughs> Holla! Holla! Oh, he swallowed it. <clears throat> That's what I'm saying. These things. They love the smacky lures. They love the smacky lures. What color are you using? Um, Same color I'm using? Yeah, Boom. I think that was... I think we can catch one more. Got him. <clears throat> Good one to end on. Good keeper. Good keeper. I'm just, it's crazy how they <laughs> Like it's nothing. Sorry. Here he comes. Boop, got it. I could do this all day. I need to change that one out for that one that was... Man, I hate to have all these fish and get checked and have that one that's kind of like... Okay. Nine and seven eighths. Uh, yeah, he was close probably. I don't know which one he was. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> All in a day's work right here. We got a smaller one? Yeah, yeah, we got a smaller one. Well, change him out. <clears throat> He missed, I missed him. Oh. He hit it too. I saw it, dude. He's huge. All right. Oh, I didn't miss him. He snapped your line. Snapped my line. Oh. Get my snacky lure back. <laughs> well, we are done for the day. We ended up doing pretty good. We're going to end up loading this boat here and I'll end up closing the video out. The bow's backing down right now. Not a bad day for the uh, second trip out for the old ranger. I'll see you guys in just a minute. I'm gonna get out of here. Well, what do you think? Uh, we did it. 
pretty quick. Ooh. Yeah, I don't want it to be pumping the, the thing dry. Research? Yeah. yeah. They're gonna die anyway. I'm gonna put them on ice. I usually leave mine on ice overnight. Yeah. Alright everybody, so we just finished up the trip. We are done and pulled out. This boat's pretty quick for latching stuff up too, so I love this boat. Great investment. Glad my wife let me buy it. She wasn't happy, but she let me do it. Alright. Let's get down here. Alright, well me and Bo did it. We got a two-man limit. This is all of our fish. Bo's gonna keep them all through some snow in here. That's the only good thing about snow. Put snow on top of them. Yeah, I'm gonna put some more on top and close that lid down. Let them set all day, all night. Yep, they're easier to clean when they're dead. And if you keep them on ice, that meat will be white as can be, so. Yeah, it could, yeah. <clears throat> it's, this... just, it's just like taking a saltwater fish and putting them on ice. The same thing, but mixed out meat to get all the blood out of it. But there's some big ones in there too. We, I mean, there was some, that one over there's a yeah, toad. Yeah, there's some. Let's try and get this one out. I mean, look at the size of that one. We caught some good ones. Good and that one. Yeah. That's we need to take a picture with them. That's a big one. Just a couple. There's tons. another one over there. Mm. That one back there. That one right there. Get that um measure out. Let's see how long this one is. What's your guess? What's your guys' guess? What do you think? I know it's hard to tell on video. I'm gonna guess 15 and a half. Oh man. That's what I was gonna say. Okay, I'll go 15 and a quarter. <laughs> I was gonna say half. <laughs> Pretty good at guessing the Put it on, on camera. Right. Fit. Show you guys closed. the pro showing the proper way to measure a fish too. You gotta close the mouth. Not quite fifteen. Not quite fifteen. It's a big fish That's though. Still a big, big old fish. And that may not even be the biggest one. We had <clears throat> several that were pretty, know, pretty good size ones. I know a lot of guys. They'll open them, open the mouth up and measure it with the open mouth all the way and they're like oh i caught a 15 inch fish no you didn't or i caught a 10 inch fish and the game one comes and closes the mouth and writes them a ticket <laughs> yeah there we go all right well close the video out hi guys hey thanks for joining us today we had a great day on the water and this actually only took us by the time we started fishing a couple hours probably if that and we we're kind of picky on some of them at first because we were wanting to catch some bigger ones so we could have caught a, just a limit of smaller ones if we wanted but uh it's a good time don't Thanks forget to Taylor. subscribe to moorhead homestead yeah yeah come check out moorhead homestead we don't get to do as much as this is what taylor does um but we got a, some goats and chickens and turkey and stuff and just whatever we're doing as a family we kind of just video it and but I do do quite a bit of hunting and, and a little bit of fishing. Whoa. Do do. Oh, we got ice fall. Got ice fall. You need to now. catch that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're out of here. You guys have a good one. Have a blessed day. And like I said, subscribe to Moorhead Homestead and uh, be safe. See you later.